Scapple is one of two apps made by Literature and Latte, Scrivener being the other one. If you're a writer and you haven't heard of Scrivener, you must be living at the bottom of the ocean. Scapple is Literature and Latte's mind mapping software. It allows the user to work out connections and flow for whatever they're working on. It doesn't matter if you're writing a novel, a screenplay, or developing software. There are many other mind mapping software out there, but none like Scapel. Scapel doesn't have many features. Outside from picking from four border styles, you can drag text documents and keep them as one note, or you can have them broken up over individual notes. You can drag and drop images inside and move them around. The big feature for Scapel is it can link to Scrivener. Figure out your three acts for your screenplay, you can connect it to your Scrivener file and it will appear right inside. This is awesome. The lack of many features may seem like a deal breaker, but it wasn't meant to have a lot. It was meant to be used. The more you can do in a program, the longer it takes to learn how to use it. It doesn't matter the software you're using. Scapple doesn't have this problem. It's easier to learn than any other software like it. To get started, it's simple. Just double click the canvas and type. There, you have your first note. Linking notes is as easy as dragging one note over the other. You can change the line by using keyboard shortcuts while you're dragging a note over another one. You have the option of five different lines. Remembering the shortcuts does take time. I constantly found myself having to play around to get the line I wanted. In a mere 30 minutes, you could have scapel down and be working. Less with the tutorial. You heard me right, it was only one. It's a video about seven minutes long. This will show you everything you can do. Before you know it, you'll be off brainstorming your next project. Scapel isn't the prettiest software to look at. The muted yellow background is awful. Thankfully, you can change it. Want a different color? How about a pick? You can change the background in the inspector. You'll have to find it first. One of the benefits of the muted background color is that it's not distracting and allow you to focus. Changing the background could do the opposite. Besides the lack of graphics, Scapel does look modern. Something I would expect today. There's nothing worse than a software made today that looks like it's from a decade ago. Overall, there is something more to be desired in Scapel. While having a distraction-free background, how long can you really look at a dull, muted, yellow, default canvas? Did I mention I hate yellow? It comes down to this, a very simple piece of software that isn't free. What is? The price is $18 for a regular license. $14.40 if you're a student or teacher. Everything you get and asking for $18 is rather high, but not out of the question. It definitely shouldn't go any higher. $15 seems like a better price point with an education discount between 10 and 12. What makes it worth the extra $3 is if you use Scrivener. Scapel is nothing like any other mind mapping software out there. It really isn't a good thing or a bad thing. It comes down to what you're looking for. Are you looking for something easy to pick up and can transfer over to Scrivener? Then Scapel is for you. If you want more bells and whistles and beautiful looking mind maps, look elsewhere. My grade for Scapel is a solid six. It's fine, a step up above average with an argument for grand. It will all depend on how much you plan to use it. Thank you for watching my review of Scapel. Please let me know down in the comment section what you thought of my review and if you'll give Scapel a try. Please give this video a thumbs up Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and turn on all notifications. This way you'll know when all software reviews and other content go live. Thank you for watching.